Hello and welcome back to Love Your Food. Today we've got a great recipe for these beautiful buttermilk biscuits. Our favorite way to eat them is with a breakfast sandwich, which we will be showing at the end. So here's our ingredients. We've got uh, an egg, we've got uh, buttermilk, baking soda, baking powder, some salt, butter, And of course, our big bowl of flour here. As usual, the uh, ingredients list will be in the description below. And we've reserved a small amount of the flour for uh, rolling later. Now we use a little bit of our uh, hot ghost pepper relish. This is a homemade peppered uh, pepper relish that we make. We will make a future video about this. And uh, we're just gonna add that directly to the buttermilk. Give it a good stir. Now this will make your um, biscuits a little bit spicy. To start, uh, you don't need to add that. It is entirely optional. And uh, we just like it because it gives a little bit of zing to the to the biscuits. You can use Tabasco, you can use Red Hot, whatever you like, anything you like in there, or nothing. So we're gonna start, of course, by uh, combining our dry ingredients. Get all of our dry ingredients together and give it a nice little stir. Make sure it's well combined. Now one thing about uh, making biscuits, we need to be a little bit careful. Once we add our wet ingredients, we want to make sure we're not overworking the dough. We don't want a whole lot of gluten um, to form in this recipe. So we're gonna try and work this dough as little as possible. So here we're gonna add our butter, and just with your hands, the way we like to do it is we're just gonna spread it out a little bit and start working it into the flour gently just by pressing it in. So while we're doing this, uh, again, we don't want to make a whole lot of gluten in here, so we're trying to be gentle, we're trying to be careful, and uh, we're working that butter in with our hands until it gets to about the consistency of cornmeal. So here you can see that's about the, uh, about the consistency we're looking for. Once that butter is nicely worked in, we've got that all set up in there. There we go. So we're going to make a little, uh, uh, just a little divot in the middle there, a little crater. And that's where our wet ingredients are going to go to. So we're going to start with the buttermilk. That's our, uh, in this case, our spicy buttermilk. Right in the middle there. And then we're going to take our egg, and we're just going to crack it into the same container. And we're going to give it a quick beat. Now, we're going to reserve a little bit of the egg at the end to, uh, to use as an egg wash on the top of our biscuits. Now again, this is optional, but it does make them really beautiful and brown when they come out of the oven. Uh, so we're going to add most of the egg, we're probably only going to reserve uh, just a little over a teaspoon in the bottom of the uh, in the bottom of the measuring cup. There, we're just going to set that aside for uh, once our biscuits are formed. So, give a little beat to the wet ingredients in the middle there, without working it in too much, and then start working the dry ingredients in. Now, it's going to start out looking pretty dry. But uh, have some faith. Don't uh, don't make a whole lot in the way of adjustments yet. And uh, keep scraping the bottom. Make sure you're getting all the dry ingredients up off the bottom of the bowl. And you're going to start to see it come together into large clumps. Now, we don't want to overwork this again. So just keep scraping and, uh, and, and folding, just combining it like that. And you just want to make sure you're starting to get that nice sort of rough doughy consistency. Now you are going to see some cracks. Uh, it's not going to really come together as one big lump yet. But now is when we can just give it a little light squeeze together. And uh, you don't want to go any further than that. That is just about right. And you don't want to work it much more than that. So here we have our dough ball. Don't worry if you see some cracks in there. That's fine. We're just going to uh, work it together. We're going to flatten it out to uh, 
about the the even thickness that we want for our biscuits. Now remember, these are going to rise uh, in the oven once we've got them in there. So we're just going to uh, pat that out. And as you can see, just giving a little bit of work, those cracks disappear, and it really comes together nicely. So, so there we go. So now we're going to get our... Uh, our cookie, cookie cutter. Now you can do this with a rolling pin, it's not necessary, but uh, you can get a very even uh, thickness with a rolling pin and some guides. Just put a dowel on both sides and roll it to that that thickness and it comes out very even. So here we're going to start cutting our, uh, our biscuits. They don't need to be perfect. If there's a tiny little piece missing. So out of this shape, we're probably only going to get at uh, four pieces, and then we're just going to rearrange everything. So that's about the right thickness. That's the thickness we're looking for. And uh, when we put them in the pan, we can actually line up the, uh, the round parts with those little sort of crescent edges as well. So that's all we're going to get out of that. Uh, so we're going to reshape it. Now this recipe uh, usually provides us with uh, seven, uh, six or seven biscuits. So all that stuff that stuck to the board, that has been overworked a little bit. So we're just going to get rid of that. And if you see things sticking like that a little bit, that's when we're going to bring that extra flour in. And you don't want to use a whole lot, but you also don't want this sticking to the board. So there we go. Back to our thickness. We can get another two out of this. And then with the remaining dough, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna form the last one by hand. And it is gonna come out a little bit different. We'll show you uh, afterwards. Now, it's gonna be about the same thickness, it's gonna be about the same shape, but uh, with the edges formed instead of cut, you can see here, they are a little bit different. So we're gonna put this into our uh, cast iron. Doesn't need to be preheated or anything. And we're just going to line up those little uh, those little gaps with the round part of the next biscuit. So there we go. We've got our seven biscuits in there. And here is when we're going to use the rest of that egg. So we're just going to uh, grab a little kitchen brush and give a tiny, tiny little brush to the top. Now we have this brush is uh, silicone. It is particularly efficient. So we didn't reserve much. Um, whatever your favorite way of brushing on uh, an egg wash, uh, some people use a fork, just dip it in and uh, spread it across. Um, some people use uh, a brush like this. Some people use a more traditional brush, which usually holds a little bit more of the egg wash in the brush. So um, whatever works for you. And we just want to get the tops. If it starts running down the side, it's not a big deal. You don't have to chase it, but we don't really want to glaze the sides on purpose. So here we go. There's our biscuits. And these are ready to go into the oven. So we are going to pop that into the oven. And we're going to start that uh, 450 and we're going to start it at about eight minutes. Now, uh, because we're using cast iron, we can do it at that high heat. If you're using uh, a thinner pan, uh, you're going to have to go to lower heat for a longer time. So after eight minutes, you can see they're starting to puff up. And uh, we're just going to turn that around, make sure they get a good even, co uh, good even cook on both sides. Those look like they're going well, so we're going to keep it at the same temperature, and we're going to make that for seven minutes. And the seven minutes are up, and those look done. Those are great. So here you go, there are your completed biscuits. And now we're gonna do a little uh, show here. So these are the ones that were cut and that was the one that we formed. So you can see they're a little bit different. The cut ones have uh, expanded a little bit more. The formed one's a little bit more of a dome. So really whatever works, whatever you prefer. We prefer the cut ones, but uh, it's all up to you. So now we're just gonna do a little montage here of uh, a breakfast sandwich.
that. There's our breakfast sandwich. A little bit of a guilty pleasure for us. We do love that uh, that processed cheese on this because it melts right and gives it the right texture for a breakfast sandwich like you'd get at, uh, at a Tim Hortons or McDonald's or something like that. Bit of a guilty pleasure for us, but uh, we hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this recipe. And uh, if you have any questions or if you have any recipes you'd like to see us try, please let us know down in the comments. And remember, love your food.